Let's go to Moorhead City, North Carolina. That's where we find NBC's Julia Ainsley down along the Crystal Coast. Julia, what does it look like there today? What kind of damage are they seeing? Winds are certainly picking up right now, Willie. We're really in the remnants of the storm, but as you mentioned, that flooding in Charleston, that's the fear here. They're worried about storm surges up to four feet. Last night at high tide, we saw a lot of water come across these roads here. And as we look at throughout the Carolinas, we know that nearly 60,000 people are without power. They're still urging people to stay off the roads. They've canceled schools here today. They've canceled schools even as far east as, as far west as Raleigh. And what they're telling people here is that they should stay inside and that they're still under this tropical storm warning, that they are still waiting for some of the worst to come through this area today as this storm weakens and heads out to the coast. We've seen a lot of flooding throughout the Carolinas, and that remains the biggest fear here. There was some wind, wind that even toppled cars on the highway in South Carolina, but really the fear here is that storm surge. Luckily, their high tide was last night, but as these rains continue to come through in Band. Sometimes it's unpredictable. It can be calm and dry one minute, windy and pouring the next. That's what they're worried about now. Further flooding, especially if people try to get on the roads, Willie, and that's why they're urging people to stay home in this area. All right, let's hope everybody stays safe there in North Carolina. NBC's Julia Ainsley. Julia, thanks so much.